Let's talk about full coverage tips. Is there a difference between soft gel tips and ABS plastic tips? Yes, there is, but is that difference significant to actually make a difference in our application of them onto the natural nails? In today's video, I will be giving you five ways soft gel and ABS plastic full coverage tips are different. Let's begin. <music> Hey there, I am Paola of paolaponsenews.com and I help current and aspiring nail techs become thriving entrepreneurs by mastering monthly wearing gel nail services using soft gel only. If you'd like to learn more about this niche, then do consider subscribing. Before diving in, allow me to give you a bit of context about how I remember the popularity of full coverage tips coming about. So in early 2017, there was an innovative gel nail system really making all the noise. It was Apre Soft Gel extension system. I can remember a celebrity manicurist to the likes of Ariana Grande debuting this new system and the debut was a hit. Short snippets of Apre application videos on Instagram were going viral and I think at one point the majority of us nail techs were skeptical, like super skeptical. Is this really a big deal? Is it worth all this press? Does it last? Is it too easy? Can it make us any money? As a soft gel nail specialist, I was super intrigued because doing soft gel extensions with tips or paper forms, I can admit, can be a bit challenging, but I was having great success in the salon doing these that I definitely wanted to try this new concept of applying full coverage tips using soft gel, especially if it meant it was easier. I was also super excited about the words soft gel becoming more mainstream. You see, at the time in 2017, very few nail techs were committing to using soft gel or soak off gel only to perform all of their services. You always heard, I do gel polish, hard gel, acrylic, etc. Many techs didn't know that they could actually use soak off gel only for all of their services. And you know what's crazy? That some techs still don't know this. Either way, their drawers were filling up with different systems, stocking up on everything to get all the services accomplished. But thanks to this channel, the word is getting out and more and more of you are wanting to specialize and master your nail services using soft gel only. And I am thrilled because I did and had great success. And I believe that you can also. Now, when I say that a gel is a soft gel, I mean that it is so off. As in, you can put those nails or those enhancements, those soft gel enhancements in acetone, and they would soak off. Now, hard gel is different. Hard gel is non-porous and cannot be soaked off. In order for you to remove hard gel, you have to file it then to the natural nail. Well, with that general characteristics of gels, both ABS plastic and soft gel full coverage tips are soak off and, in my opinion, can technically be referenced as soft gel since they both soak off. All of the tips you've ever applied on natural nails soak off. However, the bigger distinction when a company categorizes their full coverage tips as soft gel is that they are actually and supposedly creating the tips out of gel, often the same resin or gel material that they use to create their gel products, which is usually the adhesion gel you use to adhere the soft gel tip onto the natural nail. Now, here are the five key differences that I find between plastic and soft gel tips. Difference number one, full coverage tips labeled soft gel tend to be applied all the way at the cuticle and slightly tucked underneath the epineum, while plastic full coverage tips should be applied about two millimeters away from the cuticle area and then blended to the natural nail and overlaid. With this being said, when you apply soft gel full cover tips, you can immediately move on to your nail art or color or however else you're finishing that set of nails. Also, you can apply the plastic tips all the way to the epineum, but usually the distributors or manufacturers of these tips will recommend you to do a little bit more of a professional application with blending and overlaying. Difference number two, soft gel full coverage tips tend to require a dehydrator, bonder, and base gel before adhering to the natural nail. This one is particularly strange to me because soft gel adheres very well to the natural nail without the use of pH balancer or primer. So the fact that it is actually the companies calling their tips soft gel that are the ones using these two dehydrating agents that cause a bit more wear and tear on the natural nail is quite interesting. And so on the other hand, companies who sell ABS plastic tips hardly ever require or even recommend you overstress the natural nail 
with a separate dehydrator or primer, and therefore you can just move on to base gel application. Difference number three, soft gel tips companies typically recommend you soak off every time for a new set. Companies offering plastic full coverage tips do not. So for instance, if you apply a new set of soft gel tips, they can last a very long time, four to six weeks, after which time the entire set of nails will have to be removed via a soak off and then of course you would reapply. If you apply a set of plastic tips, they will also last just as long, but most companies will tell you that they can indeed be filled or rebalanced. And I think that's because you are already rebalancing them in a way when you are applying them to the natural nail from the get go because you're leaving that two millimeter gap. Of course, if the set is over three weeks old, you will have to use your expertise to decide if your clients need a new set. I personally, in the salon, prefer to rebalance the extension until the client grew enough of their natural nail for us to ditch the plastic tip. But if your goal is to give clients a new set of nails each time with stunning art and extreme shapes and lengths, then soft gel tip soak offs may work out better for you and your business. Difference number four, full coverage plastic tips, although offered in different shapes and length size, usually only come in a flatter shape. While soft gel tips offer natural and sculpted options, and more often than not, even the natural shape tends to be too sculpted, leaving a whole lot of space underneath to fill in with gel. So if you need a bit of a visual of what that would look like, just imagine the full cover tip not fitting flat on your nail and rather the curvature of the tip creating a canopy or a little cave. If you were adhering those nails with glue, it will almost be impossible to adhere the tips onto the nails without applying too much pressure or tucking in a little adhesive tab under. On the other hand, ABS plastic, which is the plastic typically sourced for these types of full coverage tips, is intended to be bendable, very pliable, which means that even if the tip is a bit flatter and the natural nail much curvier, you could actually roll a C-curve into the tip to fit more appropriately. So again, I wanna reiterate that soft gel full coverage tips are more quick, more of a stick them on and go kind of thing, and ABS plastic tips require adjusting and overlaying to the natural nail. Remember, it is usually recommended with plastic full coverage tips to adjust them to the natural nail via blending and overlaying them, but this is also what allows them to be fillable, I believe. Yes, you can press them up to the cuticle area like the soft gel kind, but they will wear a bit longer and decrease in the possibility of them popping off if you overlay them with another coat of gel. Difference number five, ABS full coverage plastic tips usually come pre-edged, meaning that you do not need to roughen up the back of the tip before applying. Soft gel tips require that you etch or roughen up the back area of the tip in order for it not to pop off from the adhesion gel. The ABS plastic tip is edged or roughened up already, so all you would do is scrub it with 90% alcohol to ensure proper adhesion. Now, I do still hear text saying they experience popping off, and I would just say that to reduce the possibility of this happening, you wanna make sure you are not using acetone to wipe off the pre-edged area or you would be making that area too smooth as acetone dissolves plastic. And lastly, please ensure that you are giving the entire set of nails you apply a full cure and that you're just not applying the full coverage tips with a flash cure because that can definitely lead to lifting. Cure for at least 30 seconds in a full power unit, I will go with 60 seconds. So here are your five differences one more time. Number one, application method is different. Plastic tips you apply two millimeters away from the cuticle area, blend and overlay. Gel tips you press on and adhere with gel and you are ready to proceed to whatever you intend for those tips. Number two, soft gel tip systems require a dehydrator bonder and a soft gel to adhere. Plastic tips simply require the soft gel. Number three, gel tips typically require complete soak off or removal. Plastic tips can be filled. Number four, plastic tips are usually just offered in a natural flat size that can be molded to the natural nail, while gel tips come in a natural or sculpted natural fitting. 
Number five, plastic tips usually are pre-edged and soft gel tips, you usually have to edge the back of them yourself. All right, so there are definitely some differences in hands, perhaps. This is why there is such an effort to make such a distinction between full cover tips and categorize them as either ABS plastic or soft gel tips. Keep in mind, however, that gel or any type of enhancement on your nails is a form of plastic in the end. Acrylic, hard gel, and soft gel all give an end result of a plastic. So it wouldn't really make sense to knock the ABS plastic tips as just plastic tips. It's everything including gel is a form of plastic. But again, they both soak off, so you can even say I specialize in soak off only. But maybe there is some distinction to be made by rather calling the tips plastic or resin. I really like this because especially if the resin comes from natural sources like trees, that would definitely be a distinction worth outlining. I definitely see some great marketing opportunity there saying that, hey, soft gel tips are made from natural resin, like from trees, whereas these plastic ones are more of a synthetic ingredient. It's definitely a talking point for a chemist or plastic specialist. Either way, thanks for joining me today. I hope these key differences help you and your business. If you like more content on soft gel nail education and entrepreneurship, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and most importantly that you hit the notification bell icon to get an instant ping as soon as our next video goes up. Check out the description box below for my free class or other paid education opportunities that I am currently hosting as well as any current active promo codes. Have a merry start to your week. I'll see you in the next one and bye for now.